actually, uh, the thirds are absolutely beautiful. Another bad news. The fifths are a little bit flat. Mm -hmm. And the image is Rob Peter to pay Paul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In other words, if you want to get a beautiful third, you've got to flatten the fifths a little bit if you want to play in lots of keys. Mm -hmm. If you don't, now this is starting to sound really technical and people's mm -hmm. eyes start crossing, mm -hmm. but the fact is you can play in eight major keys and that, you know, for 150 years, that mm -hmm. used to be fine. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about, I mean, who used this tuning system? Harpsichordists, mm -hmm. uh, organists did, and lutenists, of course, in the old days, their frets were not hammered in. They were actually pieces of gut string that were tied around, around, and they could tweak them. And sometimes they even made them go at a different angle. So down there, it was a sharp, and up here, it was a flat. They mm -hmm. had all sorts mm -hmm. of fun. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they even took little pieces of, of fret and glued it. So it, it looked very much like this, because you can tell that this particular fret is way flatter than these guys, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they were called testini. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't know much about them, but it's sort of like the Ten Commandments. You want to know what people were doing wrong back then? Look at the laws. Look right? at the rules, yeah. Don't murder anybody, mm -hmm. don't cut anybody's wife, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. Uh, they don't tell you what's going right, they tell mm -hmm. you what you don't do. And it turns out that Galileo Galilei's father, mm -hmm. follow me here, okay. Vincenzo Galilei was a great lutenist, he was a composer, he also helped invent opera, right? And he figured out a way to fret a lute in such a way that it was kind of equal tempered. Because he thought that was the way to go, and the other people went, oh no, that's out of tune, it's, mm -hmm. they're all mm -hmm. beating. So he said, no, no, you should do it this other way. And stop using Tastini. It's cheating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. So it shows that it was actually happening. So the whole concept of flattening notes in such a way that they're beautiful is... And by the way, when you start to resolve... It's the oldest thing in the world, right? And you listen to that tritone, you think, oh my, you call that a... Seven chord? Well, it's a D7 chord with teeth. So it turns out that the dissonance is much more dissonant than we used to. Mm -hmm. And the resolution? Acoustic purity. It's more resolved. Right? Yeah, yeah. So in reality, the, the, the tension to the resolution is a more extreme gap. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, one tuning expert said, you know, playing music, old music, that was meant to be in these tunings, playing it in equal temperament, it's sort of like looking at the at the Mona Lisa through wax paper, right? Yeah, 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 you don't get yeah. any of the clarity, right? So that's the world of early music. Now, of course, other composers, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. have started to wander off into those forbidden territories. Mm -hmm. And they'll play those flat and sevens, but they'll make sure that they play those notes. And it's, it's a whole new world. Mm -hmm. So we're actually coming back to something that we left back in the 1700s. Okay. Mm -hmm. 